Well, good morning, YouTube. Louie here. Welcome to the weekend. And I have a message for uh, the people that manipulate silver, the people that uh, that control it, limit it, make sure that people lose interest in it because it can't go up. You know what? Screw you. Um, I recognize the value of this material. And um, just because... Um, you have a vendetta against tangible hard assets and uh, your job is to suppress them to make our fiat currency look stronger. I will say this. Okay. This is, um, uh, you know, I was watching the, um, the trading action on the SLV, uh, over the last couple of days as we had the two large smackdowns. And I'm not saying it's over. I'm not saying that we couldn't go lower. Maybe we will. But, um, you know, when you see trades, uh, within the SLV where the sell volume is 10 times the buy volume in the bid and ask, and when the price of silver has flatlined over the entire day and there is absolutely no way it can increase because um, basically it says, buy it if you want, but um, I will dump this on your head the moment you do. And we flatline. We did that for two days in a row. And, uh, you know, the big moves were early market, pre-market, etc. That's when they can manipulate the most. In my opinion, somebody has got the hammer down on silver, and uh, that's where we are. Okay, and I think they can sometimes use that uh, tech, that um, that um, method to um, manipulate the charts. Okay, and make it look like silver is going to lower lows. Yes, the charts can look like we're going to twenty-one or twenty-two dollars. Um, and I'm not going to talk about a liquidity crisis at the moment. Yes, that could happen as well. But just because someone has put a lid on silver, just because someone, oh, I got to show you this uh, Germania um, beech leaf last in the series. I'll get to that in one second because um, I do, I do want to show you this beautiful new round. <clears throat> Just because the powers that be have decided that uh, silver will not go up any further, it was getting a little scary there around 26 as it pushed through 26 and up to 30. Well, you know what can happen. And we also know what can happen when people don't want it to. So if you have unlimited control over um, the supply of paper silver, you can set the limit wherever you want. That's what I believe is happening. Okay, you can also see that um, in the GSR, the gold-silver ratio, where gold is much harder to manipulate. So really all they have now is silver, and uh, the GSR popped from 78 up to 84, or was it 82? Um, so, you know, I think we have risk on the GSR up to 88, looking at the chart, uh, which would put silver right around $21, $22. But it doesn't change the tangible nature. It doesn't change um, how powerful this stuff is. It's absolutely powerful. With this in your hand, you will always have something to eat. With this in your hand, you will always have somewhere to live. With this in your hand, you can sustain the loss of a job. You can sustain the birth of a child. You can get yourself out of any trouble you're in once you've gotten to a significant amount of metals. Can you do that with other assets? Yeah, sure, possibly. Um, but, uh, you know, really, if you got all your money in the stock market and uh, the price is way down, the value is way down of your stocks, are you really going to sell those? Okay, but silver is holding its value and it's at a good substantial price right now. Even at 24, um, there's a lot of value in this silver. It will, um, as you'll see with spot, dry, uh, spot dropping, you will see premiums start to drop. 
and uh, you know I've seen this so many times. Now we are in a buy zone. I'm not saying go out and buy this weekend because we can't see lower prices. I'm saying we are in a buy zone where over the next month, let's give ourselves a month, you will see um, interest in silver decline. You may see spot price decline and you will see premiums decline because as people stop buying, premiums decline, sellers need to move their inventory and all the hocus pocus, um, you know, discussion on YouTube will die down. All right, well, that's what I think is happening. That's what I think will happen. We had the same thing happen five years ago when we got back down, you know, between um, between uh, 17 and 14, people were giving up. They didn't like the fact that it was going down and staying down, but some of the best deals were obtained there. I will also say that, um, you know, this is also the reason that many of the long-term stackers have been preaching, don't buy the high premium stuff when there is FOMO in the market. Um, everybody's going to start saying this, FOMO is your enemy. And hopefully they were the same people that were saying, you know, not to buy uh, a couple weeks ago. If they weren't, then they're just, um, they're just, selling selling videos so um you know fomo is your energy but i don't i don't mind buying on a do dollar cost average basis if that's what you choose to do i don't really do that i try to wait for the dips but if you want to do that but when you do don't go out and pay you know eight dollar premiums on junk because you believe they're not making any more of it, because you believe, you know, nobody will ever sell it again. Don't go out and pay $45 for a Silver Eagle for crying out loud, because what can happen is exactly what's happening now. They smash the spot price down, dealers get worried, they drop the premiums, and the $45 Eagle that you just bought a monster box of, um, you know, we'll drop back down to $35. You've lost 25% of your money if you sell. So don't be that guy. Be the guy that's looking for the low premium kilos and any deals you can find. Um, I've seen kilos all day long for under $2 an ounce uh, premium. You can find those if you like kilos. If you want to go for the 10 ounce bars, you'll pay, you know, <clears throat> uh, two to two ninety nine over spot. But, you know, if you're into a kilo for a dollar fifty over spot and spot goes from 26 to 24 to 23 to 22, you haven't lost the ranch. And that's why you'll continue to hear, um, long time stackers tell you don't, don't, uh, don't, don't go with the FOMO. Don't go with the high premiums. Don't get your heart set on only one, um, you know, type of silver, a $33 buffalo, a silver eagle, um, and junk silver, which, um, you know, if we have a sustained dip in uh, spot price, sustained, I mean, that's, you know, for several months, um, you'll see that you'll see the premiums on junk drop to almost nothing. That's just the way the market works. And the dealers will sell it at the high if they can, and they will continue to sell it at the low if they have to. They have to stay in business. All right. Um, so uh, that's all I've got to say about uh, this, uh, what I'm calling manipulation. You may call it uh, the recognition of a recession, um, which numbers are pointing more and more to a recession. However, in the scenario where the stock market does not fall because of recession and declining earnings projections, and silver does. Um, I'm gonna call. I'm gonna call BS on that, and I'm gonna say somebody wanted the price of silver to be lower, and perhaps gold as well. It was getting a little scary for them, and they want to see if they can dampen demand. That's what I think happened. But uh, you know, maybe the market will um, dip in June, and we'll have all cylinders firing down, and then anything could happen. But uh, in those scenarios, if you hang tight. You know what? Your silver will come back. Your gold will come back. Every single time over the course of history, silver and gold have come back.
Now, you know, if you invested in Bed Bath & Beyond, it ain't coming back. If you invested in one of the regional banks, they aren't coming back. If you invested in some high-flying, you know, um, um, SPAC, that ain't coming back. All right. The S&P, yeah, that's probably coming back and definitely have some money in the stock market when the time is right. Not now. All right. That's all I have to say about that. Let's get a look at this beautiful um, uh, beech leaf. It is the very last in um, the Mythical Forest series. Beautifully done. Love the, um, the variation on the fields there. I like the background as well. It is four nines. It has the familiar Bicephalus Eagle, which is just a spectacular um, um, side of this coin. All right, it has a hypothetical value. I believe it's five marks. And uh, just enjoy it, complete your set, and you will have the entire mythical forest. I would think um, botanists and people that are into nature would really enjoy this set. Um, I wish there was a little display box for it. If you don't have one, you may want to make one of your own. But a uh, very nice conclusion to the series and uh, just beautiful artwork. I can't wait to see what they bring next in their new series. But uh, this one um, is very, very pretty. And uh, how many rounds was it? Was it was it five? Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't look that up. But uh can't beat a beautiful round like that. Well presented, nicely encapsulated, and in this beautiful card with um, COA. And that's just that. Thank you, Germania Mint, for providing this sample. I hope you guys all complete your set and uh, enjoy them. Very beautiful. All right. Well, that's about all I have to say today, but they're not going to shake me out. If they couldn't shake me out at 14, do you think they're going to shake me out at 24? Do you think they're going to shake me out at 27? Do you think they're going to shake me out at 30? Well, maybe a little. <laughs> now, when we get over 30, and it's going to happen, I mean, nobody can say when it's going to happen, but look at the cost of everything and look at the markers, uh, the... Uh, the signals for the economy that we're in, look at the signals for the financial system, look at the signals um, for um, the world and the possibility of war, look at the signals for the declining value of the dollars of all fiat. Um, where, where in this scenario do you see real assets not being of value to hold, stack, um, will to your children and sell when you need the money. And you may need the money. Your job may be at risk. The economy is turning down. Everyone's acknowledged it. Rates have never been, you know, higher on the short term basis. Of course, the long term is already coming down, which has made bonds the trade of the year. And now it's getting down there pretty far. I'm not sure now would be the time to enter a long bond trade. But you know, just like when I was searching for silver quarters back when I used to do my laundry at the laundromat, um, just like a few years ago when it was 14 and 15 and everybody was saying, get out of this stuff, it's not going anywhere, I'm going into Bitcoin. Uh, Bitcoin had a pretty serious smack uh, on Friday. Uh, however, it recovered, but silver couldn't. Why? Because they had their heavy hand on the, the scale. But uh, just like all those things, over time, if you think the cost of a Big Mac is going to go down from $10 back down to $0.99, cents, then maybe you wouldn't want silver. But if you think inflation is going to continue and the purchasing power of all fiat is going to drop over time because there is no way to repay the debt in any part of the world and no one that will repay the debt and no one that will curtail entitlement spending and no one that will lower taxes to spur the economy to do real growth and no one apparently in America that wants to make anything as opposed to getting the cheapest price they can in uh, China, India, Vietnam, etc. Until that whole dynamic has changed, paper has got to go down in purchasing value and real assets have got to go up. 
And I hope you will see this as an opportunity to begin to come into low premium uh, product as the price is dropping. Uh, gold may get a smack as well. We could see it in the 19s. I hope so, because uh, I hope you'll be buying. I hope you'll be buying if that happens. Do I see gold going below 1900? No, I don't. Do I see silver going below 2122? I can't see it. I can't see it, although anything can happen. But uh, so choose wisely, make your bets, um, make your purchases regularly. And when everybody is, um, you know, really reeling from the rapid uh, decrease, um, continue to buy. You've got to continue to buy on the way down because the alternative to that is FOMO buying on the way up. And nobody wants you to do that. All right. Enjoy your silver, guys. And I will see you next week. What are you doing? Are you hanging tough? Are you buying more or are you out? You know, still can get a good price for it. 24 plus nice buyback premiums everywhere you look. Um, you can still get out right now if you want to. But why would you? Why would you do it right now just because the chart took, took a downturn? I wouldn't. Talk to you later.